The Selangor State Government will set aside at least 1% of the posts available in its administration for disabled people. The quota applies not only to all local councils, but also contractors taking up government projects. State Executive Councillor Rodsia Ismail, who's in charge of the Welfare, Women's Affairs, Science, Technology and Innovation Committee, says the move would begin in January. Our problem is, kan, kita juga menghadapi masalah to make sure to fill up the vacancy because the OKUs for now their their skill eh, is not that level, you know. So the, our 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 task is to make sure the skill to give it, to be given and the education to be given to the old OKUs pun kita kena fill up. If not, kita tak boleh fill up the the vacancies that we product provided one percent though, you know. So we have, must do this uh, in the whole holistic approach. Yeah, in the in terms of trainings, in terms of make sure they are all in the education uh, departments and everything, and then they can fill the vacancies. If not, she said this after launching the International Day for Disabled Persons celebration organized by the Petaling Jaya City Council Thursday at E at Curve Mudiara Damansara. She says at least 1% of government projects will also be offered to disabled people to ensure that they get a fair chance in business too. Also present at the celebration was Mayor Tatuk Muhammad Roslan Sakiman. Special children with good academic results received prizes at the function, while members from the Dyslexia Association Malaysia performed an interesting opening act. Other activities included a treasure hunt and handicraft demonstration. Limiuk, the Star Malaysia.